Hey, what is up everyone? In this video, I wanna show you guys how I spun up a Kali Linux VM in the cloud through Azure so it can function as essentially a command and control server with a public facing IP address and how I am going to use that to get a reverse shell on my host machine. My host machine is a fully updated, fully patched Windows 11 computer running once again, a fully updated version of Windows Defender. We're gonna bypass Windows Defender. We're gonna use our Azure VM with a public IP and we are going to pwn my my computer at least that is the goal let me go ahead and share my screen and show you guys how we are going to do this what i have here is i spun up a very basic vm in azure if you spin up a vm in azure they actually have a kali image that you can use and why this is important is because it gives us a public ip address so if you are used to doing ctf what will often happen is you'll have a vulnerable web server or a vulnerable machine and you will be able to get a reverse shell by having that go back to your kali ip well you can't do that in the real world because your Kali is often running as a VM on your computer and it's behind a firewall or your router. It doesn't have a public facing IP address so you can't get a reverse shell without doing some really weird port forwarding stuff. But if you spin up a VM in the cloud, you can do it. And I wanna show you guys how I did that and it does actually work. It kind of blew me away. I did it on stream a little bit ago and I wanted to make a video for those of you on YouTube. So you can see we have our public IP address here and I have this listening through networking. So port 80 is listening to any connection. So the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and SSH into it. I have a private key for it and then we're just specifying the username and then the IP of our Kali VM, which is being hosted in the cloud. So let's do that. And there we go. We are on this. We are in the Azure cloud. If I LS, I'm going to go over to my hoax shell folder, which I downloaded from GitHub. And we're going to go to reverse shells. There we go. And what we need to do is set up a listener. So if we do Python three hoax shell, our listener T is the type of listener we want. And I'll show that to you in a second on GitHub. We're going to do command at curl and we're going to do it through port 80 because I'm already listening on port 80. So once again, this is all in the cloud. We'll even just rename this. We'll say this Azure Kali, not even a VM. So Azure Kali, there it is. Listening to the cloud is listening for a shell session. Now, if we go over to hoax shells, there's a hoax shell listener. This is an updated version of the original hoax shell you may have heard about. And on the hoax shell listener, they have a CMD curl, a brand new payload written in pure Windows CMD that utilizes curl. So you can go ahead and copy that. We'll open up Notepad here, we'll paste it in, and what we need to update is a few things. We need to update this so it reflects the IP of our public facing machine right here in the Azure Cloud. So let's go ahead and update this to our IP, just like you know your typical CTF, but you could use this to attack any machine, any web browser, because you now have a public IP and I haven't spent any money on this VM so far. We're gonna change the listening port to port 80. So let's go ahead and grab this. And because it's based purely in CMD, we can go ahead and open up CMD here. We have that. And let's see if we can pwn ourselves and get a successful reverse shell from here out to the cloud. And if I look over here, let's get Azure Kali pulled up right here. And then we have this. Let's paste that in, hit enter. We just pwned ourselves. I have a reverse shell onto my host machine. Once again, fully updated. Even if you look at this, you can see that we have Windows Defender is running. Everything is on, fully patched, fully updated. Last time it was updated is 6.14.2023. You can see it's 6.14.2023. We bypass Windows Defender. We got a reverse shell using hoax shell. And then we did it in a very real world scenario because we spun up a VM in Azure that's essentially functioning as our command and control computer. And from here, we could infiltrate data, we could enumerate things, and all under the radar, Windows Defender did not catch us. So hopefully you guys found this video useful. Check out Hoax Shell, check out Azure, spin up your own VM, and you can do this. We just spun up a reverse shell and bypassed Defender in less than five minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.